Frank, tell me what you've been doing. So I've really been just marking, so laying sticky tape down on the floor to show the actors where to stand because if I didn't do that, it, it's very possible for them to just stand out of frame and be like really annoying. So it just gets the tapes done quicker, really. I use these. What do they call this job on a film set? Uh, I think it's a gaffer. Yeah, it's a gaffer. Integral part of the team. So we were re-filming our scene because the actors were out of focus and it was focusing on something in the background so we have to redo it and thankfully we watched it back on Jack's laptop so we saw all the mistakes and we could redo it and make it even better than before. Okay, so what have you been doing this afternoon? Um, we like my new handbag. So my job um, this afternoon was collecting sound with Mana. So what we use it is that we used this um, stick and it had like a microphone so it could collect the sound from the actors. My role on the film is being in charge of sound and like small details and if like we have to retake sound because someone was like shuffling. I like the role but it's, it's um, kind of confusing and difficult because you have to remember where to put all the plugs and where like you have to go and whether um, and you have to like know where to put your microphone because you don't want it in the shop. What's it like being director? Good because it that makes you feel like like people just hear your voice more. Wired. It makes you feel more confident. Is it? Mm -hmm. In what ways? Like it makes you feel like you can talk to other people without having to like be um, like so. So if someone doesn't speak over you, maybe you can have like a strong voice, a heard voice. The most important thing um, is that you have to stay really quiet um, when when it's being filmed because it collects um, a lot of sound. So it can, so if you're like whispering, it collects sound of you whispering, and it can ruin the shot. Wow, the camera Out. So we've been filming, me and Sina, um, we've run up to Bradley, like saying, oh, where were you? We've been looking for you all around the school. And we give him the camera and he's like, it's a black jack, whatever, yeah. And then he, and then he takes a pic, well, we asked to take a picture of us. So he takes a picture of us and we run away. And yeah. How have you found the last hour of filming? Has it been the same thing over and over again, lots of different things, or has it been exciting, or is it, did, did it get a bit boring after half an hour? Were you doing lots of different takes? Tell me more about the actual It's film. half, half, like, it was boring, but it was fun when I kept going outside, inside, but then it just started getting annoying because everyone kept looking at us. What are you doing? Take uh, number... Take number... And also, the first time we kept like talking over each other, like every single time. So I think it was good to do it because at the start I was like, oh my god, that's so boring. Can you do and that did, on you, did you like the fact that they were already talking? Yeah, yeah, yeah I loved it. It's all been recorded. Okay, Kenzie, tell me what you've been in charge of today. I've been in charge of the camera and the headphones. Uh, uh, that sounds weird. <laughs> Okay. And you've been doing some directing? Yes, I've been doing some directing. What are the things you've got to say before you start filming? Quiet on set, roll camera, and then action. I'm really excited and I'm happy to be in Haiti. It's about a it's about a, cam a cursed camera, and every single time that they take a photo of someone, there's a picture with the camera in it, and then they'll appear in that photo. And what have you been doing today? I've been doing my scene, and then everybody be taking the photo photos. Uh, is it come naturally to you? Is it easy, or do you find some bits a bit difficult? It, some bits are a bit difficult because then you because you're not allowed to look at the camera. Three, two, one, action. Okay. Bradley, do it faster, I think. 
Cut. Me and Uske, we get a camera and we find this cool camera and we show everybody. And Miss, I mean Alex, she pretends to be the principal and she, we take a picture of everyone and Alex is in the background and she comes closer and closer and she just scare you. It's going to be awesome. Uh, so far, I have, I've always been acting. I wasn't really like with the camera or with the boom and I really want to do that. What would you like to do? Which one? The boom. The, boom. the sound. Okay, what are you filming today? Uh, I'm filming. What filming? Oh, filming. Hey. What are you guys doing here? What? How did I? Why is it so heavy? Oh, I can't stop. I can't. Why do you think you were chosen for Hayden? I think I was chosen for Hayden because to to be put out of my comfort zone. And normally I don't like speaking out loud, so I think this will help me be more uh, open and talk more to strangers. And if they ask for anything, then maybe I can help. You should never talk to strangers. <laughs> <laughs> don't let that be the lasting legacy of Hayden. No. <laughs> Do it quickly. Like, huh? Mm -hmm. Great, amazing, perfect. Okay, in position. What do you mean by being put out of your comfort zone? Um, well, I mean by, because like, normally I'm not like an open person. I don't really talk that much. But so I think it will help me like, like talk to people more and not be so shy. Is that an important skill, do you think, for people to have? Yes. Why? Because then maybe if they're like in a scenario where they have to like talk to someone, they, they might be a bit shy, so then they might not do as well. So you said you wanted to start your interview again? Yeah. No, 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 I don't know. No, I don't what? know. If you just pick up sound from here. I think I was chosen for Hidu so I could work better as a team and to be e so and we're all treated equally. Nobody's better than one another. Um, right now I'm thinking it's something what I want to learn because like, at first I was actually really very, 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 very nervous because when I'm talking to one person, like two, three per people, I'm fine, but like when it's a lot of people, I just can't talk. And lots of people think that I, that I talk a lot, but when it's around a lot of people, I just am quiet. So that's why I think. Because Bradley just took a picture of the girls. So there's gonna be a picture of me. Okay. Wow, that's incredible. Boom. Let's take a group picture, maybe with all of the boys as well. Okay, you agree? So they're like, wow, that's amazing. Like, okay, let's take a picture of Bradley Kenzie and Because um, when there's a lot of people, I, I lower my voice. But then, like when it's filming, um, the director tells me to to um, 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 make my voice go louder. Um, and and when um, and um, when when the whole school watches the Heyday film, um, I'm gonna have to. Um, raise my voice for them to hear. Hey Chesterton, uh, really sorry I can't be with you today for your screening. Um, I can't remember the last time I missed a heyday screening, um, but there you go, can't be helped. Anyway, I really hope you enjoy the film 
Uh, you've had to wait a long time to watch it, and uh, I'm sorry about that, but it's worth the wait. It's a really, really strong film. Um, as you're probably aware by now, we decided it was best that uh, the younger years um, didn't watch it, because it's quite scary. Uh, which I think is a testament to how hard you worked and how seriously you took the film. I'm so proud of you, especially when I think about how you were when I met you in September. All eight of you have really improved life skills such as confidence, motivation, persistence, determination, self-esteem. And I know that your teachers, and I know that Miss Thurston and Miss Shaw are going to be equally as proud of you as Alex and I am. By the end of the course, some of you were really demonstrating that you had a knack, a natural knack for camera work, for directing, um, for acting, and for sound. Now, this is the first Heyday course that I've run where we really put an emphasis on recording sound. I'm going to stop talking now because I've been chatting for, for kind of far too long. Mm. Oh yeah, Heyday mugs. If you want one, let me know. Five pounds. Um, Miss Thurston's got some certificates to give you. I've got some badges that I'm going to hand out when I see you next. I've also got kind of cool things like patches because it's, you know, 1974. Um, and I've got some vinyl stickers that I can hand out to you when I see you as well. So make sure you come and find me or I'll come and find you next time I'm in. Enjoy the film and it'll be up on our YouTube channel at some point today as well. But from me, uh, cheerio. I think I've ever said cheerio before. And I'll see you next time I'm in. Uh, take care. Bye-bye. <sighs> Just tastes better in a heyday mug.